The question is, which fraction is greater, 1 and 3 fourths or 1 and 7 eighths? Here's how you figure out. First, we can see that we have 1 here and 1 here. That's the same, so we can just ignore that. Let's focus on the 3 fourths and the 7 eighths. If we had a common denominator, right now we have 4 and 8, but if we had the same denominator, we could just compare the numerators, and we'd know whether 1 and 3 fourths is greater than, less than, or equal to 1 and 7 eighths. So let's do this. Let's multiply 4 times 2, because 4 times 2 is 8. And over here, we already have 7 eighths. So we're just going to call this 7 eighths. But we can't just multiply 4 by 2. We also have to multiply the numerator by 2. That's because 2 over 2 is just 1. So we're not changing the value. We're just changing the way it's represented. 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 eighths, that's an equivalent fraction to 3 fourths. They have the same value. But now we have the same denominator. We can compare those numerators. And you see that 7, that's larger than 6. So 7 eighths, that's larger than 6 eighths. Only by 1 eighth, but it's still larger. Since these are equivalent here, we can say that 1 and 7 eighths, that's going to be larger than 1 and 3 fourths. That's how you do it. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.